Now the first step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you're using any antivirus program like McAfee, Norton, Avast, Bitdefender, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Just add your add the exe file or the game folder to the exception list. Now I'm not using any antivirus program, so I cannot show you, but I'm using Windows Security. So if you're using Windows Security, open Windows Settings, go to Privacy and Security. If you have Windows 11, if you have Windows 10, click on Update and Security, and then click on Windows Security. Now click on Virus and Threat Protection. Now scroll down. At the end, you will see Manage Ransomware Protection. Click on it. Now click on Allow an App through Control Folder Access. Click on Yes to Allow, and then click on Add an Allowed App. Click on Browse All Apps. Now go to the Game Installation Folder. If the game is installed in C Drive, open C Drive. Program file 686. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam Apps folder. Now open the Common folder. Now open the Game folder. And then select the exe file. Click on Open. Again, click on Add and Allowed App, Browse All Apps. This time open this folder. Binaries, Win64. Select this exe file. Open. Again, click on Add and Allowed App, Browse All Apps. Select this exe file and then click on Open. And once it is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Now it's still not working, then type in Control Panel in Windows Search Box and then go to Control Panel. Now go to System and Security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Allow an App or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Change Settings in the top. Click on Allow on the App. Click on Browse. And then go to the Game Installation folder. So if the game is installed in C Drive, open C Drive, Program File 686. Now open the Steam folder. Steam apps and then open the common folder. Now open the game folder. Select this exe file, click on open. Now click on add. In my case, it is already added. Again, click on allow another app, click on browse, and this time open Spectre folder. Binaries Win64. Select this exe file, click on, click on open, and then click on add. Again, in my case, I have already added. Again, click on Allow Another App, click on Browse, this time second, uh, select this exe file and then click on Open, now click on Add. In my case, I have already added all the game over here. So once the game is added over here, once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So if you are unable to launch the game from here, so instead of launching a game from Steam, you can make a right click on the game, select Manage, now click on Browse Local Files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Now make a double click and try to launch the game from the game installation folder. Now it's still not working. In that case, try to launch the game as an administrator. So make a right click on the game. So let me close the game first. So make a right click on the game exe file, select properties and then go to the go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK. Make a double click launch the game from here. If that does not work, go to properties once again and this time put a check over here and then select Windows, select Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click launch the game. Still not working, then this time select Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game from here. Still not working, open this Spectre folder, open binaries folder, open Win64, select this exe file, or you can even select the first exe file, but try this one. Just make a double click over here and try to launch the game from here. If that does not work, go to properties and do the same thing. Put a check on run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check if that does not work. Select Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game from here. Still not working, select Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, now launch the game and then check. Do the same thing with this 30 exe file. So properties and then again put a check on run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, select Windows 7, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, then hit apply, click on OK. Now when you make these changes over here, 
don't launch the game from steam or else you will receive an error so when you make this these changes try to launch the game from the game installation folder so just make a double click over here and try launching the game from the game installation folder now it's still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok do the same thing with this exe file go to properties and then uncheck these boxes so if it's not working just uncheck all the boxes hit apply click on ok go back and do the same thing with the first exe file make a right click select properties and uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok don't forget to hit apply now still not working the next step is to uninstall and reinstall battle like now for this again go to the game installation folder and then open this spectra folder binaries win64 here you can see battle i folder make a double click on battle i and then here you can see uninstall battle i make a right click on uninstall battle i and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then click on would you like to uninstall battle i service from your system click on yes then click on ok now once uninstall go to install battle i so make a double make a right click and then click on run as administrator on install battle i and then click on yes to allow and let the process complete it will just flash for a second and it will go now you can launch the game and then check now still you are facing the problem then this time uninstall battle i once again make a right click then click on run as administrator and then click on yes to allow click on yes ok and once this is done go to steam now launch the game from here it will prompt you to install battle i so click on install click on accept ok click on yes to allow and during the install du sorry during the launch it will install battle i so here you can see installing battle i battle i ser service has been successfully installed updating launching the game and you should be able to launch the game and then you can check now the next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description so copy this command type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key now run the second command and then paste the command over here hit the enter key now run the third command paste it hit the enter key now run the fourth command and then paste it hit the enter key now run the last command and once this is done restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to use ethernet connection so you, if you have a ethernet cable and if your computer has a ethernet port you can use the wired connection for internet and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch options so go to the steam maker right click on the game select properties and in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work make a right click once again and this time type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver do not ignore this if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website now on this website make sure that you select your series select your graphic card over here now once you select your graphic card over here make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find now once you click on find you will see this page the latest one the latest driver will be on top so right now it's 560.94 now click on view over here and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run the exe file once you run, run the exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here now select next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to 
run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings now click on browse and then go to the game installation folder so open the game folder select this exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and this time open spectre folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on add again once the game is added over here click on options select high performance now click on save now launch the game and then check still not working click on browse once again select this third exe file and then click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance over here now now launch the game save and launch the game and then check then check next step is to now verify the game file do not ignore this make a right click on the game and then select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once this verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check now still not working the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now on this website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so you have to download both the file x86 click on it and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case it's telling me to restart my computer i have already installed so please ignore this error message now download this x64 and then run this exe file now again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install again i have already installed it's telling me to restart my computer once both the files are installed you have to click on restart make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update now once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have rotas wheel any kind of uh, usb adapter so if you have any third party application uh, sorry sir third party any devices any external devices connected to the computer which you are not using disconnect it if you have extra controller connected disconnect it Try launching the game on single monitor. Disable overlay. Now for this go to Steam. Make a right click on the game. Select properties and then go to general tab. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Now if you have overlay on in Discord, turn it off. If you have overlay on in GeForce Experience, turn it off. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it if you have any kind of third party services and software running close it including your browsers if you have underworld 3d computer remove the underworld and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 
1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 49152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on uninstall. Now after you uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder. And then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like it, any external drive like D drive, E drive, try to install the game to C drive. And then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.